up and a turn. Or relax, loose, and exit to the shot. Hard work, girls. Hard work pays off. It's okay, it's okay. Hi everyone, my name is Milan Kriyetin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitman and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. What's up guys? Welcome back to another 10 Fitman video. Today we're gonna learn forehand from scratch. Then we have these two amazing, talented ladies and we're gonna try to teach them some forehand. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> okay, let's go. So, it is exactly as I just said, learning from scratch because they are basically beginners and today we're gonna really make it simple and I'm gonna break it down into three basic steps and I'm gonna also talk about three most important things to think about when you're playing forehand, when you are kind of at that beginning level. So, the first step will be starting with the ready position, right? Yeah. We're gonna have wide base. We always do the little jump here, you know that? And the first step is up and a turn, right? Kind of giving the high five with the racket. So one more time, it's up here, the turn. Can I see you do it a few times? So it's important to kind of do it and then the muscle memory is created. So again, jump and the turn here. So it's important to think about the left arm, non-dominant arm, stays on the racket at this stage. Bam. Right. So assuming we kind of master this step, we're gonna go to the step number two. Okay, the step number two. Once we go to the step number one, the step number two will be getting in the side waist position and kind of separating arms, right? But still having this nice turn. And the racket face is kind of pointing the back fence. The racket pointing the back side. Yes, that's it. So one more time, beginning. We're gonna go one, the first step, and step two is bam. Here you can just practice from here, bam. From step one to step two, getting that side position. Can you do it two times? Step one, step two. Okay. And again, we don't want to separate the arms too much. We keep them more close. At this stage. The one and the two is here. You see, my arms are kind of close to each other. Good, so we keep that, the turn. Yes, and this one is still a little bit closer to the other. Yes, and we are looking towards the ball. The ball will come here. We're not gonna look back, we'll look here. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna practice this a little bit more. We move on to the step number three. So again, one, two, and now, we're gonna forget about the movement, but we just assume the ball is right here. So we are in a good spot. We're gonna kind of go in the drop. Then we're gonna drop the racket and we're gonna pull the left arm out and execute the shot. All right, so one more time. One, two, and then we kind of first go down with the racket, pull the left arm out and swing through. And you see how we finish with the leg out. Good, can I see it? Okay, one and two, one and two, and then three. So here, it's very important, this part, right? That we don't swing, watch the racket, watch the racket, that we don't swing straight, but we first go down, we first go down and then. Eventually you wanna go below the ball, so we can brush the ball up. Let's see. Bam, and the step out, right? So one, two, and the step out, good. So we're gonna practice that. This one we need to practice more. Stepping up, good. Keep going. Hard work, girls. Hard work pays off. Let's go. <laughs> Those were the three steps and we kind of practiced that. Now I need to explain the three important concepts or things that we need to think about when we play. The number one, I want you to think about the racket is heavy, like 10, 15, 20 kilograms, and that we need to play with body. We need to play with full body. This is why we turn. So, engaging more body so that we can play more effortless. 
you kind of want to think about it's not just arm action, but it's more body action, right? It's a good trick to think about. This is heavy. We have to kind of bam, gauge. We cannot just, if it's the racket is heavy, we cannot do this. It's not going to work because it's heavy. So we need to engage full body. Can I see that? You kind of think about that. Do the one, two, three steps and think about the racket is heavy. And how you're going to engage full body. Yes, that's good. The number two important concept, or how you need to think about, is that we want to be more relaxed, loose. We don't want to end up, I see this a lot, like beginners, and I kind of felt with them as well that, you know, kind of too rigid, too stiff. Whereas we need to be very natural, more relaxed, right? So the wrist, the wrist is relaxed, shoulders, everything is loose, right? But you need to keep the form, right? to do one, two, three steps, but being a bit more loose. So that nice finish and release that swing. So one, two, three steps, direct this heavy and nice and effortlessly. Because if we are stiff, if we are kind of not relaxed, we lose a lot of energy and we cannot produce the, the power, the boost. Okay, good. So we have the third thing and this is something that I saw that she needs to get better with and this is about the balance, right? And the being calm as we execute the shot. So all these things combined is going to really help us. So we have one, two, and then especially at the number three step, when we are executing the shot, we need to stay calm, right? Our head needs to stay still, looking at the ball at the contact point here, and then we have this kind of open leg that's going to give us a good balance, right? Keeping that body still as you're hitting the ball, the head is not moving. Okay, the leg goes up after we hit the shot, right? So after we hit, naturally goes here. Bam. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, and again, we need to practice this a lot, and then we're gonna try to actually hit some balls. Okay, so before they actually do the forehands with the balls, I'm gonna kind of demonstrate for you. So it's always good to kind of see it, and then you try to replicate. You also learn by, by watching, right? So, again, to do the recap is one, two, three, right? One, two, three. And again, using the body, being relaxed, and balanced. Who's first? Ready? Up. Two. Three. Good. Up. Okay, good. And next. Up. Three. Nice. Up. One. Two. Three. Wow, good. Let's see. The next player. There you go. We join the racket position. Nice. And the leg step up. Again, remember. Step up. Yeah. Up. Two. Three. Good. A little bit more at the end, you stop too early and it looks a bit stiff. So we want to. And up. Yeah. Relax. Up. Two. Three. Much better. Yes. Okay. Then we have the recap. What do you remember? The one, two, three steps. And one. Two. And three. And can you tell me the three important things to think about? What do you remember? don't end up like a lot of beginners only arms so we need to use the full body what else we talked about use flexible nice okay more relaxed we keep the form but we are relaxed and we said one more thing at the end stable we have the full control of our body our head is still as we execute the shot and we have this step up i'm lucky to have this ladies here it's really a pleasure and i think uh, they're on their way to improve their forehands even more and i hope you enjoy this video i hope this helps you as well if you're a beginner that you can you know master this basics on the forehand if so smash that like button share it with your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel you can check all the other social media platforms below in the description and uh, thank you again so much for watching i'll see you soon in our next video